Okay, so we are back. Uh, challenge two, this is the, uh, this, I guess, the semi-final round. Um, today is judging day to, uh, to move forward into the finals. We have 13 uh, contestants right now still involved, still at play, uh, and we are picking three here today, uh, plus a wild card. Uh, the wild card, of course, uh, the fan vote outside of this room, um, it has been picked, but uh, do we say it now? Do we leave it till later? Well, yeah, we'll hang on to that for now. So this one around, this time around, this was the on-the-spot party trick round. So it was a matter of, as always, our, our, our criteria, which Steph, you remember from last year, everybody, we're pretty on, 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 on board with that. Uh, 6 to 11, comedy. Um, those are really important things. It's got to be funny. Um, We've been trying to workshop as we go through. This is an event where we're supposed to show off a, a hidden talent or a, a trick or just go for the comedy in this time around. And, and uh, we have to wait and see how, they've, how everyone's uh, handled that. Um, our judges are in the room. Um, I don't think we need a lot of introduction that way. We do have Steph Betts from DHX joining us this time around. Um, but everybody else you know. So I think we're going to get right down to it. Um, so uh, first up this time around, uh, Aaliyah and Vero. Um, I'm going to run down the line. What we're looking for is you guys let me know if it's, if it's one of your picks for our three. And if it's not that, is it one of your runners up? And then we always want to get a little bit of commentary, a little bit of feedback, okay? So let's start down at the end with, with Brandon. Uh, with not one of my picks. Not one, one of your picks this up. time? But I would say this is the most improved creator from the start <laughs> of StarTune for sure. And also it was a nice step towards comedy. Like we, we kind of like gave that feedback was stepping towards comedy would be good and they did for sure. I, I will say um, we did have a few pull out this time around based upon the feed because we, we had so many move forward this time because of the little mix up last time around yeah. with our voting. Um, most of those who did pull out were based upon the feedback in terms of it's just not feeling like it fits this demographic or it's mm. not. So those were the, and um, Kira actually did speak to me about that and she was waffling on whether she was going to continue. Mm. Um, and it was one of those things where she's done so well. Now Kira was uh, Eric Frosthart snowboard last oh, year. Yeah. So we've seen a huge improvement mm. in Kira as a, as a creator over the course, over the course of this. Um, and we had a little chat and she decided that she would take one more shot. Um, she's not going to change it too much, but yeah. she would, the opportunity here was to show how humor could fit into what she was doing, yeah, rather than sure. trying to shift yeah. it fully into humor. Yeah, you can see that. I would say one little thing is like a uh, character jumping full force with their butt into ice, probably not something you want to be <laughs> bottling. It looked like it hurt. Yeah, you could really yeah. damage yourself. <laughs> Does anyone recognize this? So this is actually, what Kira has done is there is a, a piece of video that went viral couple years ago of somebody jumping off of a balcony onto a frozen pool thinking they were going to break through. Oh my gosh. And that's basically, she's used that and she's adapted that into her that show. Person yeah, that person no, break. but it was exactly the, like, I think she's even rotoscoped over it. Like it's, it, she's right. used that as something that is just like, it's, I, I, it was a very interesting way to play back. Sure. Uh, this, uh, on this one. I was um, unaware of that, but it works on its own anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. Uh, okay, so not a runner up, not a, not a pick. Uh, not a runner-up, not a pick for me either. Um, lots of potential, though, and um, I will say one of the things I've always liked about this is is the dialogue and the voices. It feels really young, and it feels like it's being written by someone that gets how uh, younger people speak. So there's a lot of potential there, but a lot of work still needs to be yeah. done. So I like it, but. But do you think didn't six to it. eleven, or do you think like two I, voices? I think it could be. Yeah. But yeah, not not as is. Uh, so it was not one of my choices, nor was it a runner-up. Um, but agree with Brandon, it's the first time I've sort of seen some humor come out, um, which is great. So I would say if that's the goal for this series, which it probably isn't uh, in a lot of ways, I would say that would be a good step in that direction. But uh, yeah. Unfortunately, not a runner-up for me or a, or a pick, just because... Um, like, I think the idea is funny of this poor girl <laughs> jumping on <laughs> ice and trying mm -hmm. to break through. But uh, it didn't tell me anything about the character or characters involved. And I kind of, I, I always think it's more funny when it comes from character. Mm -hmm. And I tried to go back and watch the other two clips that had been submitted, the audition in the first round, just because I was like, oh, maybe yeah. I'm missing something. But I didn't really get who they were in those ones either, be especially from the description, right? It's like, they're, she's magical. 
Mm -hmm. and, and, and so I just didn't get. I wish they had to use that more, yeah. and then and and pulled the gag from it. Cool. Um, so, with my familiarity with the creator and the conversation I've had, I I I have a better understanding of sort of what she's trying to do. I think the thing, the, the commentary back to her is that she's not quite communicating what she's trying to do to people like yourselves. Mm. What I think is interesting is that the piece of video that she's used plays very well, I think, to her own demographic. Mm -hmm. like yes. th that's where it all, like yes. what you're responding to in terms of how the characters that's, interact, yeah. with their, how they talk to each other. That's what I'm I think she, about she probably has nailed a certain market, tone, a certain yeah. demographic, mm -hmm. and a certain tone. I agree. It may not be our Which borders tone. on fanish, but I think yeah. it could be very successful. I think there's something yeah. interesting yeah. here yeah. myself. This is my, and now that we're getting down to the end and, yeah. we have a, and we're not as many, I'm happy to talk a little more about There's like a Daria quality to yeah. 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 So, uh, and, and I will always, so I, I would suggest based on this that we're not seeing uh, Leah and Vero move through. So I want to make sure I say right to the camera as we've all talked about, um, Kira has shown a tremendous improvement uh, since she started last year, since she came, and she kept coming back this year, just on a technical level even with the animation, yeah. um, with the characters that she's bought it, that she's invested in, and, uh, and we have to find some way to acknowledge, uh, sorry Christopher, I didn't even jump to you yet, I'm jumping ahead. Um, but a, a huge acknowledgement to her and the work that she's put in. Um, it's really rewarding and one of the goals of Star Trek is to see that improvement out of creators. So you make us feel like we've actually done our job, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, and we're going to find some way to acknowledge the improvement you've made in the, over the course of this. We'll edit this, we'll this in a different direction because we're going to have to get Christopher's comments here as well before we come to me. Um, unfortunately, no. It was a no for me on uh, all accounts. I do think that um, there's been a lot of progress here. However, I would recommend that she really stick um, to her vision and writing and think about each challenge and what that is. So um, this kind of humor is really great in the context of something real, i.e., you know, like a real person jumping off on, you know, that might have been funny, but it, it came across as not being funny. It actually came across as being, it felt a little dangerous or something in in an animated world. So I, I would wonder if, you know, thinking about that challenge would have helped a little bit. Cool, okay. Okay, thank you. We're gonna move on to the next one. Casey and Max. So we'll start again over the, let's keep going in the line, Brandon. Sure, uh, I mean, at this point, it's a little hard to get past, like I would say it wasn't a runner up or no, not a pick me. this time around. No, for you. not a pick for me this okay. time. It's a little bit hard to get past the like at this stage because everything else is animated. Yeah. Um, it is like it feels nicely bordered. I would say I struggle to explain what the show's about yeah. to people. Um, but it does have some nice moments for sure. It's got some fun comedy moments. But it's just at this point, I think it's it's got to be at the level of everything else. Yeah. And it's, and it's not. Unfortunately. Jay. I completely agree with Brandon. Yeah. It's um, the unfinished quality is a detriment, I think, at this point, for sure. Yeah. Um, I, I can't tell if having this as part three was a detriment or a strength. I think it's neat that uh, the creator's trying to continue the story, but um, it, I, I don't know if it serves the challenge mm -hmm. uh, so much as just forwards this particular vision. And again, um, you know, that has been a note of mine before. It's like, what exactly is this about? So yeah, those are problematic. So it's a no and a no for okay. me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a no and a no for me as well, and very similar um, feedback just in terms of how this relates to the challenge. I didn't quite get that, and it was quite long. Um, mm, three times longer than requested. Yeah, yeah so yeah. I just, I, you know, I wasn't quite sure what the party trick was gotcha. in this one. And gotcha. again, the unfinishedness, and so yeah. No I feel like three times longer could have been shorter and animated, possibly. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> yeah. As a, a new person looking at this, yeah, it's I was tough to really unfortunately one. confused by this one, um, and I can get behind a board if it was going to be, you know, like I, I, everything else is animated, yes, but if they ran out of time, they ran out of time. I just I didn't understand w what was going on, and I went back again to the others, and I was like, oh, the whole concept being it's ha a, a lizard that can turn into a human. That's funny, and I wish that he or she he, he had have played that in this gag. Like why, if that's the concept, play into that. And um, but I did laugh out loud when, when the bees swarmed and were like, there's six things biting me right now. I thought that was funny. Yeah. So mm. there was funny for me in it, but unfortunately not a topic. Christopher? Um, yeah, it was a no and a no for me as well. Um, again, a little disappointed to see the animatics and this point in the competition. And um, 
I'm I, quite frankly, I wasn't quite sure what was happening, and I, I it just was very hard for me to understand. And I, I just feel at this sort of stage, we need to to go to the next level with yeah. something. So unfortunately, it was no one. Okay, um, it's interesting because this one became a topic a little bit on on the Facebook group. Uh, Murray Bain, who runs Copernicus out in in, in Halifax, he kind of pushed it because he did he he, he saw it in that case as well. I mean, I know, and he called it out, clearly Max is overworked right now and trying to put something together and, and not, and it's true, he's got uh, too many clients and he's, it's, it's something had to break and it's mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. um, but there's genuinely funny moments in it. Mm -hmm. um, Max is a strong creator, you know, all of that, and uh, clearly has some fans out there. Um, and he's trying something strategic in terms of putting it all together that way over e e each thing. I mean, th I think he's playing a long game in terms of exactly. Take the pieces and of when this. the story is finished, I'd be very interested to see where yeah. it goes. Like I'm, I, I'm, I'm still hooked. I just, it's just halfway done. It's just, but it, uh, yeah, yeah, it's just not doing it in this competition. I think it's just too bad too that they're not. Uh, several creators, not just Hit Max alone, aren't using these pieces as like building. Um, an awesome package to go out and pitch their show right. with. Like I think some of them are just so standalone that you go, what is that? And where? How does that fit into the overall like what they're trying to mm -hmm. create and and I imagine build a show. So I think that's a missed opportunity on a lot of these. This one might come together again. What you're saying is if we if if he continues this and does the next piece, maybe there's something that because he's trying to string them together in a certain way. Okay. Well, I think it's like your your point. I'd love to see what he does next with this. Yeah. I guess outside of the competition. Okay, we're gonna keep moving. Hazan. Okay, okay. Why don't we start at this end? <laughs> <laughs> so this was one of my top picks. Did I All right, have to tell so you yes. number? No, so yes. no, 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 just say it. It's, it's one of the top three. Yes. Awesome, okay. Uh, why? Um, I just think it is so weird <laughs> and out there and quirky. Um, I love the design style. I can't point to anything else. I go, oh, it's just like, which I always respond to. Um, and I and I want to see these guys take on like the festival circuit. Like I'd like to see dust bunnies, or, but sorry, dust dust bowl, dust dust bowl. bowl at Burning Man. And I want to <laughs> see them at Coachella. You know what I mean? Like I can start to, and I let you know I got excited about well, where could these weirdos go. So I thought that was fun. Cool, cool. Christopher, what about you? Well, I think this is one of the funniest of this this entire competition. He's, this person has consistently made something very, very funny. So this was the first runner-up for me. This was, like, number one. Okay. I still really wish that the characters were a little more developed and I knew what the world was a little bit more and the writing needs work. So that, those were would be the things that I would say to really, like, focus in on now because the humor is down and the goofiness is is down i mean this is the craziest piece in this whole competition mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it just has that sort of uh adult swim kind of <laughs> like feel to it right um so this was definitely a first runner up okay so not a pick but, for, but your first pick in the runners up correct awesome okay let me go back over to Brandon. I voted for his hand, uh, <laughs> like always. Yeah. Um, I love the voice. I love the humor. Uh, I would challenge him to maybe put him in a bit more of a kid relatable situation for the next uh, one because I would say it was probably kay. like a distant third for me. Okay. And I would say like maybe like he's singing an acoustic song right now. Maybe not the most like eight year old thing to do. So maybe like don't change the character, but put him into like situation like making a new friend or something like that. Right. Maybe something that kid would relate to because I think that's the one thing against it's like it's really funny to us. We talk about Adult Swim, but maybe for the purposes of this competition, maybe think about that. Right, and but, to, to put it but you top. like the characters, I like the think character, it's funny, yeah. and it's, it's a simple matter of putting them more in a more kid-relatable yeah, scenario. Yeah, for sure, and it makes me laugh, and so that goes a long way. Yeah. I would say that the, the voice sometimes veers a little close to Cartman, which yep. I would be mm -hmm. yep. a little bit yeah careful about because it's such an iconic voice, but otherwise mm -hmm. the voice is so good, and that goes so far. So. so it is still one of your top three? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. Jay? Of course I picked his end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I've been a fan since the beginning. And yeah, I just think, it, again, as has already been said, it's just so different, which is always shocking to see something that's just unlike anything else. Um, yeah, I love it. I think it's funny, again. And actually, I, I'm not even so sure. Like, yeah, it needs to be tweaked a little more for the demographic, but I actually think my kids would have loved it mm -hmm. at this age. Like, they would have just loved this. Um, my one um, suggestion would be like in this one, we're intro we've we've introduced a new character, and Hazan himself is just narrating that mm -hmm. voice, 
And I would love to see some other voices in this, like who else is in the Dust Bowl and what do they sound like yeah. and how does that work? So we're not really getting any real interactions because yeah. he's telling the story. And even though I love Hazan's voice, I think that would be fun to see what other people yeah. sound like. Cool. Last but not least. Um, so this was a runner-up for me. Uh, okay. So not top three, but definitely a runner-up. Um, I may change my order here, but... Sure, um, that's fine. <laughs> um, Peer pressure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, no, I really like this. And uh, my only thought was that this, to me, feels like shorts. I have, you know, I think that this sort of concept, it's high concept being in a Dust Bowl, you know, to sustain it for a, even a seven-minute story mm -hmm. would be, you know, might be a challenge for them. Mm -hmm. um, but I think, you know, it's one of the the top obviously for sure in terms of hitting what it's supposed to hit so the comedy and the age demographic and I think the animation is great and the voices cool. are great too. So if you were giving it a number in your top five and don't worry about how it relates to yes. shifting other numbers. Yes. Um, I would give it uh, runner up number two. Number two. Okay. Okay. After that we are going to Gigi. Christopher why don't we start with you. Sure. So this was um, not a pick and not a runner-up for okay. me. Um, I think they really struggled with this particular entry. I got really lost in the story. I couldn't follow. I watched it like three times. I couldn't really follow it. And I want to because there's something interesting about this character with the different hats and the way it all works. So like the concept, I really... I'm still jiving with. It's just it didn't execute this time for me. Okay. Okay. Brandon. Yeah, I agree completely. Like, I really want to like Gigi, and I and I do like Gigi, but I can't follow it very well. So it feels a little bit unfocused. So I think with a little bit more like streamlining and focus, I think it go a long way. But right now, I said it was a uh, two runner up okay. to number two. Jay. Uh. Yeah, I mean, I've always liked the look of Gigi and the concept uh, when you can get a grip on it. Um, I think the notes from last time were dressed very well because the last one was very confusing, mm -hmm. I thought, and a little spooky. Um, so this, to me, actually ironed it out. I thought Gigi came back uh, quite strong cool. in this one, actually. Um, it's still weird and confusing in places, for sure. I agree with Christopher there, but um, I still think I like the uniqueness of it. It needs work, um, uh, especially fine tuning for the target audience. Um, I, I still can't tell what age this would be good for. Mm. So I have it as a runner up as well. Yeah, where I does put it, it hit? at two. Two? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I have it as a runner up four. Um, and just sort of looking at it as an overall, you know, package with the other episodes. Um, I feel like we're getting a little bit of a better idea of who she is. Again, she feels older to me, like just the character. Mm -hmm. uh, if you go back to look at the first one, she felt really young. And this one, she's obviously a kid. Um, so yeah, but a, yeah, a little bit confusing. I'm not quite sure what's going on. So just a runner up for me this right. time. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't unfortunately in my top three or runner up. Um, I really like the. I really wanted to like it more because I think the concept is is funny, especially in today's world of like, okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't swear. Sorry, you um, this is you only can. going to creators. It's okay, fine. sorry. Um, <laughs> but like, okay, Matt, you know, you can fix ev all the problems in the world's magic. Let's do it. Yeah. You know, like I think we can all get behind that. <laughs> but I think I, I just thought that she's not. She wasn't that funny for me. Like the funniest line in it was Dad's going like, "I'm legally super like yeah. I have to be here," or whatever he said, and I think that's it was funny and on the adult level, but again, doesn't really play into the six to eleven. Um, but it's clearly a lot of work has been put into this, and and I think with some help and mentorship, she 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 is the he 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 could get there. So. Uh, it, this one's a fascinating one for me. We talked about it a lot in the studio as well. Like it's, I love this. I love the concept. I love it all. Clearly, this creator is failing to communicate a one piece to you guys that would say, "Here's the show." Mm -hmm. um, and it's and, and it's and it's and there's it's it's this whole like let's just present. Here's what the role of the mom is. Here's what the role of the world is. Here's what the role. Is. There's something in there that is that like that would bring it all together. 
because I think this because most it's of what more I think of a script problem than it is. Yeah. And I th and, exa and I think that most most of what we're talking about would work itself out in development yeah. with the right yeah, writer agreed. attached with them, all that okay. kind of stuff. Because as a creator, I think we're like this person is eighty percent there. Yeah. So close, but again, for the purposes of this, mm -hmm. they've got to find that way to put it together to sell yeah, it. Yeah, the to hat you. needs some context for the story choices they make. I feel like it's just random for random sake, and it's not as connected as. Yeah, I want to know how she got the hat. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah there's something in that that is the yeah. sort of the sales side of this that has to come in to play at this early stage. Right. Because like, I, I, it's, I love it. I love it. And I wish it could be a show so we'd already be past this point. Um, so yeah, OK, sorry. So we've got our numbers. We've got to keep going. Um, next one. Okay. I think it's great. <laughs> it, it's, we'll talk, yeah. uh, Harry and Shelley, keep moving. <laughs> uh, I like starting with Christopher these days. So let's go over, let's start over here again. Um, this was a, a top three for me. Yep. Great. And um, I really like the humor. I think um, I can see the show in, in this demographic. And at this point, I would like to see lip sync. Um, I know it's not necessarily a thing, <laughs> but it just would be great um, uh, to, to see it at this point. But I really like this duo and the over the season, you know, over this these last few challenges, how it's grown and stuff. So I, I, I really like it. I think they need to decide about the backgrounds, though, um, whether it's, are they always real? Are they always, sometimes, that's a little confusing. OK, OK, so Just commit to the art direction that way. Yeah. Yeah, OK, cool. Um, I really like this one, too. We're getting back to the concept. I love the idea of this, like, okay, 10 minutes or it's free kind of pizza delivery service. Like, so much fun you can play off. And it reminds me a little bit of Sonny and Bentley, the winners last year, that kind of odd couple mm -hmm. dynamic. Um, so for me, like, it was kind of, a, it wasn't in the top three, but it was really kind of a tie for the runner-up position. Yeah. Um, just because I didn't have a big laugh moment in it. That's the only thing. Like there was, I guess, that one moment with the elbow yep. that was that was funny. But um, yeah, again, I think this one again with more time and development, I think could be really interesting. So really close for you, though. Really close. Okay. Really close. Okay. Uh, so this was in the top three. Yeah, for me. pick for you. Um, yeah, and I think because this one is sort of consistently hit all of the marks that it's supposed to hit, not just in this. Um, episode, uh, but all of them throughout. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's kind of funny that he's saying, oh, I'm not good at anything. And of course, he's delivering pizzas like a champ. Like, he's like yeah. obviously good at yeah. that. And he's just not, you know, I think that's cute. And I think it hits, you know, I, I again, like Christopher said, I can I can see the show, you know, and I think it hits the, the age target really cool. well. Okay. Jay? Yeah, I love Harry and Shelley. It's in my uh, top picks. Awesome. Um, and yeah, I agree with everything. I think this had the best interpersonal banter. There's so much heart in this, and every time we see yeah. this, they're very sweet to each other. Like there's this, they're, they're trying to help each other out subtly and encourage each other, and it still st stays playful and fun. I thought it was great, yeah. Um, and I thought that it was well played to the challenge, too. Nice. Yeah, I thought it was great. Yeah, it was also one of my top three. I think like this is consistently the best written one, yeah. for sure, yeah. and the characters are, are there. I would say, like, along the lines of the lip sync and the, and the polish, uh, the voices are a little hard to get past. Like, it's, mm -hmm. it sounds like it's to the same the same guy doing both, Okay. I think. Like, I would challenge him, like, if they really wanted to go, for, like, all the way with this, maybe get a, a female to <laughs> act as the as, as the female character and maybe just, yeah, get some actors to, to fill out these roles, possibly, because mm -hmm. there's a great interplay, but you would never go to, to air with those voices. Yeah. So maybe think about that possibly. I mean, it's, for the last round. Yes, but yeah, maybe f maybe yeah. to, to to really like push it for the for the next round because, um, yeah, I do think like now that you're making a minute long short film, you could probably get some actors to help you out. There's actors who work at Star Tune. Like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying, Brandon? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got our numbers on that one. Uh, we keep moving, Lionel. So before we do this, so Lionel um, has been adjusting the premise around your notes as we've been moving forward. Right. That is something that is coming up in the conversations I'm having with you guys in terms of like maybe not always recognize, oh, he's a teenager now. That That's was what I, that was yeah, exactly that was my your note. note. So, yeah. um, <laughs> and uh, so th I want to just make sure we're addressing that, that, that some of these people yeah. are shifting the premise based upon what you guys have said. Mm -hmm. And it's sure. very clear in line that way. For so, sure. Brandon, why don't we start over with you on this one? Uh, this one did not make either runner up or one of my picks. Um, okay. It's felt like that this particular one didn't really have much to it other than him being bad at rapping, which is a little overdone to that gag. I uh, just didn't, like, didn't feel like there was much there at all this okay. time, unfortunately. Okay. Jay? 
It's uh, a no and a no for me as well. And I really appreciate the efforts that were made to, to get this on track. But when I think back to the first version of Lionel, which had sort of a preschool vibe mm -hmm. about a, a, a cute little lion trying to hold in his roar, that was, that might be what this show sh yeah. mm, should go be. back to a little bit. Um, yeah. Because I don't understand why there's a lion in high school. Yeah. Uh, I, I think, and it's, you know, it's partly based on our nose, but I, I, I think it's lost something too. Yeah. Well, I know we said to age it up, but not by 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. We know. Yeah. So where does that? So I did have it as a runner-up, only because I've always liked this one, um, and I think he's cute. I do, I did really enjoy the not being able to, or to contain his roar. I always thought that was a great yeah. gag, and I'm sorry we've lost that here, but I did have it as a runner-up number three. Um, but yeah, a little bit of confusion about how, how older he's, or how much mm -hmm. older he's gotten. Um, but yeah, it was a runner-up. Um, I'm new to Lyle, so the yep. interesting backstory. <laughs> <New> <laughs> um, uh, so I th I really liked the designs, and I really wanted to like it more than I did on the execution for, for this particular challenge, because I think the rap, although overdone, um, I think as you said, Brendan, I feel like it's it had potential, especially if it's like, how do I act at a party? And then like, uh, hi, how are you? And he's trying to like rap out and mm -hmm. pretend, you know, and figure out how to do it. I think that could have been funny if the pacing was just a little mm -hmm. bit different, but to, it just didn't quite connect those dots, so. But it did show a very clear understanding of that character. Yeah. You know, yeah. So that this guy does, does know who the character is pretty well. Yeah. For sure. Despite the fluctuations in the premise. To yeah. Yes. Anything? I think time differently, I think it could have been really funny, yeah. and I think we would have probably been laughing, and it might have stayed on, right. but I, I think it, it's interesting. The preschool version sounds interesting, yep. and <laughs> this is kind of interesting, too. The, the odd ball out it doesn't fit in at school is another way to go, and I think that's uh, in a kind of bully sense, maybe, is what I was getting from yeah. this, but um, I don't know. I think you need to kind of sit right. back down with a writing team. So was team it, and a, sorry, give me again. Was no, it, it wasn't, unfortunately, no? Okay. in my talk. Christopher? I'm the odd man out here, so I really struggled with Hazan and oh. Lionel, and I went back and forth and back and forth, and really what I liked about Lionel was the growth that has happened, and I think they overcorrected a little bit okay. um, in terms of it, but it was short, funny, quirky, I, I really liked it, it's in my top three, and um, and what I what I think I actually really liked some of the pacing in terms of the humor. Um, I liked when, you know, he was rapping and then it like cut really quick, which a lot of people miss that kind of quick cut to the, yeah, let's not do that. Okay, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, like nice. that sort of thing. I don't know as though the odd man out in high school, maybe it's a middle school thing. Like, I don't know where it fits, but I, I wrestled with Hazan, and for me, Hazan just skews so much older and should go into a different, and that's why I put that as first runner-up, but they were the hardest ones for me to figure out who's yes and who's runner-up. So this was a this yes for you? yes for me. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, that puts us with Lenore. No, I thought it was really funny, actually. It's my runner-up. Didn't make the top three, but it was but definitely... It's like your number one runner-up? Yeah, number one runner-up. Um, because I got where... She, the creator's a male or female? Female. 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 I think I like where she was going with it, that this witch that just can't get her stuff together, like they're all like totally acing everything, and her magic is just not working for her, because you feel like, oh, when she gets her win, that could be really fun too, and you can see how you could build stories around her. Um, so I saw a lot of potential in that. Um, yeah, it was my runner-up number one as well. Um, I thought the pacing was a little bit slow, like it mm -hmm. could have, you know, it's a minute and 16 seconds. Mm -hmm. It definitely could have been well under a minute to get the same amount of story across. Um, and it was the first time we've seen some humor, which is nice. I've always liked this one, but never found it or figured out where the funny was going to come from. And I think if that's the shtick, that she's just not a very good witch and yeah. the rest of her friends are, then that's kind of funny. Um, I thought the, is that a minotaur? Or yeah. the, I thought maybe centaur. that was centaur, centaur, centaur whatever, right, right. you know, whatever, one of those tours. I thought that <laughs> yeah. was, the concept of that was a little bit old for the age group, but I mean, it was funny nonetheless, yeah. so you'd mm -hmm. have to come up with something else to I wish to she had jumped on that. his back yeah. or something and rode <laughs> off into the night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Definitely That's not a different demo. show, but different yeah. Demo, but I did <laughs> like this one, and it was runner-up number one for me. Cool. I'm gonna jump over to Christopher. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm the contrarian today. This was a no and a no for me. 
Um, so I'm just, I, this was probably the best example of humor um, that we've had. And so that's really nice, but I'm not sure about the relatability. And there was a lot of really strange pauses um, that felt like the action stopped and I wasn't sure. I would just like to see it flow a bit more. Um, so unfortunately it's a no and a no. Okay, go back down the line. Uh, I'm also a no and a no on this one. Uh, I really like the world and the potential of this one. I also couldn't get past the pacing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe my years of just being fast-paced Teletoon guy, mm -hmm. but uh, I, yeah, I couldn't really get past that like the, the, that part of the execution. So, I, but I do really think there's a lot of potential in this type of world. Cool, for sure. Okay. Jay, I've always liked the concept and design, and uh, I think I've been consistently asking for more of a peek of what this world could be, and I thought this was really well done in that sense. Yeah, I'm finally getting an idea of what this show could be. Um, it's still not quite there. Yeah. Um, so I like it, I thought it was funny. Um, I think it's beautiful, I love this show. I'd like to see this show one day. Um, so it was a runner up for me, it's my fourth runner up. Okay. Uh, Lumberjack, right. Christopher. Um, so this was a third runner up for me. I thought it was like pretty funny that he's struggling to be this lumberjack in this community. I think if you were to really make this show out that you would have to really define all of those boundaries and so forth um but there's something there and so that's why i made it third runner up okay okay um yeah i really i wanted to like this one too because i really like the concept of the scrawny lumberjack but unfortunately it wasn't um in my top picks just because again the exercise being a gag uh, I didn't feel like it really hit that to me. I was left feeling bad for him, like, oh, you know? Okay. <laughs> you know? So where did you put it? I didn't. It's not, it's not on okay. my top. That's okay. You're, you're allowed Sorry to say that. That's all right. <laughs> uh, I'm the same, though. I didn't choose it for either, which is, I was a bit disappointed in this. Oh, not disappointed, but I had previously quite enjoyed this mm. character and thought it had a lot of potential, too. Um, but he just, it felt a little sad, <laughs> this particular outing. Um, I said he uh, feels a little bit depressed, but um, uh, but I mean, I still it's still got potential, but in terms of looking at all of them, this was not a pick for me today. Okay. Okay. Jay? Um, yeah, I felt sorry for him, too. I, I have a... Um, it's well done. I like Lumberjack, mm -hmm. um, and I, I hope the creator pursues this idea further. I, I, I'm still having an issue with the relatability, you know, like a, a little bearded lumberjack that doesn't fit in with the other lumberjack. I just, I'm not, yeah, not sure that my kids would have got it. Yeah. Um, there's well, something. How you sustain that over a uh, How you sustain too. it, yeah. It's, um, there needs to be more character driven stuff rather than just the challenge, which is an, an issue I have with another contender in this as well. Yeah. Brandy. Yeah, uh, so I made it. So it's a no and a no for me. No <laughs> Uh, it was runner-up number three for me, but I definitely agree. Like the melancholy grown man lumberjack yeah. might be a little yeah, bit of yeah. a tough sell for kids. Uh, I still like I love the design, but yeah, I, I struggled through relatability and the fact it was kind of it was a fun gag, but a gag. Yeah. Um, and also, it still feels like you need to flesh it out a little bit more. Like he's he's a lumberjack who's struggling to fit in with lumberjack. It needs to be a little bit more fleshed out, like a little bit more specific. I think right now it's pretty broad, um, which I know is tough with such little time, but it still felt a little bit like it could be a little bit go a little bit further, okay. a little bit deeper. I think. Okay. Um, did I get Christopher on this yeah. one? Yeah. Yeah. We started with you. Okay. Sorry. I'm uh, so we're gonna get on to Pepper and Monterey. I still love Pepper and Monterey. Yeah, it's one of my picks. Yeah. Um, yeah, I thought this was a great way of, dress, of addressing the challenge. Um, funny gags, polished design. It could use a little more finesse, but I, I'm liking it. I like the color design. <coughs> and um, yeah, so it's a it's a it's a thumbs up for me. I, I, I think it's working best as shorts though. I'm trying to figure out how this would be a. A show. A show. But 11, 22, can it sustain it? It needs a little more character development outside of the two, but I love their relationship, and they're they're just so funny. Yeah. Yeah, Brandon? Yeah. I mean, it's all designed for me, pretty much. Like, it's so beautiful. I did. I put it, I made it one of my picks, and I do like the interplay between the characters. I struggled to see what the show would be. Mm -hmm. Also, like, 
going for a job, doing a big job interview, needing some money, that's again a little bit more of an adult yeah. point mm -hmm. of view. Yeah. Okay. So I would say, yeah, th again, like this one and, and some of the previous ones, like think about it more from a kid's point of view. Circumstances. Or like if they need a job, what do they need the money for? Is it, is it a kid thing is it, or is it because they need to pay the rent? Like what's going on here? Right. Mm -hmm. um, so it did feel a little bit more adult, um, but it's so beautiful. Yeah. 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 Christopher? Um, these are some of my favorites. It always makes me laugh. Um, so, yes, it's one of my uh, top three. Um, you know, I think that they struggle a little bit. The, the criticism I would have is that just be careful. They go into Looney Tunes world a little bit, yeah. which is like a an old, it's almost adult with the whole um, thing. But I love the characters and the design. I, I still imagine in my mind or make, or I would want to develop this, that, that, the ghost is a fish yes. that <laughs> yeah, right. Right. and it is now stuck with him <laughs> so, um, uh, or pepper eight and is now stuck with, I forget which one is which but I just have that in my mind and that's how I've structured the whole thing they're very funny together I'm so I like, will address that right now here in the room is I did get an email from Ryan um, and the he, he said a couple things in that the he did tweak the design on the ghost initially because the first note was he looks kind of like a sperm. So he did, <laughs> yeah. he did shift it yeah. at that point. And he likes the idea that he's a fish. The whole fish thing that you've introduced into this, very open to this nice. as a way this could go. So he's That's already right. looking at some, like, you know, he's taking notes well. Um, this is definitely a possibility that that is a fish that was eaten and has come back as a ghost. Good. And it's, we've seen that, like I've had that, like that out of the blue email address mm -hmm. with like fish note. <laughs> I love that about this. I think that's a lot of humor can be had in that relationship. So, so it was a pick for you. Me. Yes, absolutely. Totally. Top pick for me, too, and I'm coming in fresh to this, but I think that it has the highest production values. The design is phenomenal. The stretch and squash animation that they achieved in the timelines that I know they're working with is amazing. Um, and I, I think the characters, we could, you could work through that a little bit more. Um, I kept wanting to go more pinky in the brain with them just to define them yep. a bit further, but I think what you guys are talking about, I don't know all the details about the fish <laughs> idea, but it sounds like that's where it's going. Um, yeah, I thought, it was, I thought it was great. I don't think the job thing will sustain, but no. if these two characters are great, it doesn't matter what they'll, they're doing, you'll mm. want to hang out with them, yep. and I think that's the mark of a great animated comedy, and I think as long the as just how physical barf. it is. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So what was that? As long as there's pinata barf, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sold. Uh, yeah, it was in my top three as well. Hey. Um, okay, I'm so gonna yeah. make that is our. I think that's our first. First one. unanimous. Wow. Yep. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So yeah, nothing much else to add except that you know I thought the payoff at the end, although the scenario was a bit adult with the needing money, but I thought that the payoff at the end was funny, mm -hmm. right? Like it's like be careful what you wish for. You need this money, yeah. but mm -hmm. oh my God, look what you have to do to mm -hmm. get it. Yeah. And that's funny. Um, so yeah. Nice, nice. Okay, cool. So definitely a creator we want to hear more from. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, fill in space. Okay. I'm gonna go with Christopher again to lead this charge. <laughs> so this is my second runner up. Um, this is just a goofy, quirky thing that's really interesting to me. Come a long way from the beginning. Yeah. The design has come a long way. The humor, there's humor actually for the first time. I'm wondering if you could really like rely more on this type of humor. Um, uh, he, it's no longer like, I mean, it is this kid in space, although he's like as tall as a man, so it's also weird. But, um, yeah, the, it's just come a long way for me, so I really liked it. Number two runner-up. Number, Number two runner-up, cool. Um, yeah, I thought the pacing was really great, and there was definitely comedy in there, and the designs are cool. But to me, it feels more adult, um, just in terms of the tone, and 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 I. So it wasn't it wasn't in my top pick. I think that was all I kind of. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, very similar feeling. Uh, not in my top picks or in my runner-ups. Um, and I've I've always sort of been a bit of ambivalent about this one. I think in general, I've just yeah. never really thought that it was great <laughs> for the target audience, mm -hmm. um, and that the concept was funny. I guess I think it you know it has potential, and a guy named Phil is funny <laughs> in space, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, just not for not a pick for me today. Okay, Jay. Uh, yeah, it made runner-up for me. Um, I think this is the most improved one. Where did it land? One, uh, one yeah. actually. Yeah, this has come a long way, and and I agree with Christopher. It's it's come really far. I think 
if I'd come in clean to this one, as opposed to having seen the other ones, I would I would have a different uh, impression of it. Yeah. So I've always liked the basic design of him, even though he is kind of a man child. Um, but I like the line work and the movement. It's 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 really nice. And this one, yeah, like he's like. Christopher said, it's the first really funny one. He's not just drifting lonely in space, <laughs> which is getting a little dark. Um, so yeah, I just, yeah, rooting for Phil this time. Okay, okay, nice. Brandon. I definitely agree that it was really improved. It didn't, it didn't make either for no. me. But uh, I, I do I acknowledge like, there's a lot of improvement and it's much funnier. I, I struggle with like a voice that's so anxious and, and kind of shy for kids. Um, and then something about it, I don't know what it is, just didn't really click with me. Um, but there's definitely been a lot of improvement. It was like just outside the runners-up for me, I would say. Okay. Got it? All right. Uh, Yen and Yak. Okay, we got a couple chuckles in the room right off the bat. <laughs> I, I'm going back to Christopher again, because you, before it even started, you had a little titter. Well, so this is a fifth runner-up for me. Okay. This is um, a fifth runner-up. I do think they took a side sidestep and went backwards, sort of, in growth. I thought that the last round was a little bit better in terms of we got to see the characters, and now they went into a wacky direction that I was like, wait a second. But there's something interesting about this style and these characters that keeps me chuckling and laughing at, at things. And just, I mean, it's a, a, a really weird premise <laughs> that the beard comes off, that like, um, which you don't see in this, I, I don't believe, um, uh, to my, to my re no, recollection of, no. of watching it. The beard doesn't come off, like before he really made a statement with the beard yeah. as another character. So yeah, I, I put it at fifth because of that, so. Okay, okay. You laughed. Yeah, I, this is in my top three. I just, because I think they achieved the, the challenge. It's funny, and I want to know more about these characters. I know this doesn't give you a lot of character, but this idea of these peacekeeper oddballs, and like, I'm in, like, and this quirky, mm -hmm. and the production of, like, with the muse, I thought it was funny. And so I just want to see more. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, it was in my top three as well. Um, I appreciate, I think he took the note that you either have the yak sidekick or you have the beard that's alive on your face and they've gotten rid of that for this one. Maybe it'll come back, but uh, I think it's, for me it's an either or scenario and I prefer the yak for it sure. It was a very strange trio before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, the beard so was yeah. sentient, yeah. the beard. And kind of grumpy. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and it just was like either his beard comes alive and he has a pet yak or whatever, like yeah. one yeah, or the yeah. other. Um, so I found this very funny and I think the animation is is great and the yeah. designs are great. It's definitely one of the better ones in terms of the animation quality and the pacing is really good um, and it made me laugh out loud cool. as well. I will say that you just, I think that, I think it's more shorts than full length series right now. But again, mm -hmm. I've seen like this much. So I, I just, but I think for YouTube, I think you'd kill it on shorts. Cool. Jay. Uh, yeah, I like the weirder submissions that we get. Mm -hmm. I've always liked Yen and Yak because it's uh, distinct and and yeah, great animation all the way through. Um, yeah, I I feel like last round was gave me more of what I wanted than this one did. Yeah. But it's but this was a simple challenge and it and it works. I I think <laughs> it's a weird <laughs> gag which I like. But um, for me, it, it made a runner up. So it's um, third runner up, and I wish Yen and Yak very well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You? Uh, yeah, it was my first runner up. Uh, I've always liked Yen and Yak. I was a little disappointed in this one that we didn't get more character. Yeah. Uh, it was kind of a, a, a gag. Uh, and it, for me, it was between this and Hazan. And when you look at Hazan, like with the same amount of time, it had so much character. And this one was kind of like, a, it, was, it was some there, but it, it felt like, like again, like a little bit of a step back for Yen and Yak. But I still really love it. And based on the, the strength of the rest of it, I made it the first one around. Yeah. It is interesting in that this challenge was about trying to just like get to the funny, do yeah. something funny, show that off. And some creators are able to do that and still do character. Right. Yeah. Yes. And other creators, it's just more just a gag. This um, doesn't have to be a yen and a yak to pull off the gag. This could be anything. Right. It's not really, yeah. I mean, but it, is a, rope is, there it is a rope bridge. It is a rope bridge. oddballs, right? That no, are that's like. That's the first time, yeah. Okay. It's the first time we've seen the piece. Right, but that's what yeah. I mean. Like, that's, I, that was, that was clear to me in this gag. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why I kind of got like Yeah, we before like they've just sort eyes. of been a duo. Like, they haven't, there haven't been anything for them to really do. Right. So you're I right. Think. That is a good thing, though. That's, yeah, that's it's giving sold them the some purpose. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. You're now giving a bit of a hook. You're giving mm -hmm. a yeah. premise to it. Definitely. Yeah. Um, I, I actually, there's something, in listening to all this, I feel like even with the beard before, 
Um, these guys feel more to me like they would be really interesting supporting characters. Right. You know, oh, something yeah. that like you would you would all of a sudden these weirdos like if they were, like it's that, that that's it's it's a complicated trio that we had before, okay. but I like the weirdness. Yeah. And it feels like, but it maybe it doesn't have that big hook to to to, to pull a show. Um, but if these guys showed up every other <laughs> yeah. episode, maybe they yeah. should hook up with Lumberjack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll keep going. Uh, Frico. Okay, how do we talk about Frico? Do you remember Frico? I, I, I remember Frico. You remember Frico? Frico like, I really don't know how you feel about this show. Frico's <laughs> been killing it this year. Yeah, yeah. Let's um, push Frico. So we had we had a fairly consistent note about the post-apocalyptic wasteland previously. No. So they've done a lot of work on that. And Frico, <laughs> in their uh, written premise in the past, had amended that, but maybe and he maybe he felt that it wasn't quite coming across in the in the challenge videos. So Frico. They decided they were going to address that clearly in this video. How do we feel about Frico right now? Who wants to start? Sure. Uh, I've always liked Frico. This one was a little bit disappointing to me. I get that, like, it's not post-apocalyptic, but it is a wasteland still. So, I mean, it's still kind of the same to me. And also, like, they're, they're so focused on the meta humor of trying to call out the judges, which is fine by me. <laughs> but, the, like, are kids going to get that? I don't know. So... I mean, I've always been a Frico supporter, but I kind of dropped it a little bit. This I feel time. there may have been sort of a go for broke moment here, sure. where it's sort of like, yeah. I, I, this may never be a six to eleven. Yeah. So we're just sure. going to ride it out and have some fun with it. I get that for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. So like maybe just embrace it and go for the adult <laughs> side. I, yeah. I made it a yeah. uh, runner up number four. Runner up number four. Okay. Yeah. Jay, it's runner up number five for me, <laughs> uh, based solely on the consistent um, edgy humor and the in your face response. I'm like, okay. Points for that. They <laughs> were talking mm. right to you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was not a pick or a runner up for me. <laughs> um, yeah, I've just never been a fan. <laughs> or it just doesn't, I don't think it hits the, the mark for the yeah. challenges. Yeah, so. cool. Yeah. I feel the same way. And I remember Frico yeah. all the way through the last round. And I just don't think it's changed that much for, again, the demo. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I go at all with it, yeah. go all the way. For sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Christopher. Uh, it was runner-up number four for me, and um, I think that they, <laughs> this is contrary to this contest, I think they should just develop this for adults, embrace the post-apocalyptic thing, and let it be really funny, because there's something there, the last one I really loved a lot, and I think that they have a talent, they're, they're just trying to fit a concept that just won't be fit into yeah, yeah. And so they kind of took a step backwards on this particular by by being really in your face. <laughs> <laughs> Not a post-apocalyptic world. <laughs> it just looks exactly like one. <laughs> it's just a wasteland. <laughs> okay, a okay, wasteland. so we've got our numbers. All right, we're down to our last one here. Uh, Sir Strawberry, who wants to go first? Uh, I've always liked the design and vibe of this and not, nothing else, <laughs> unfortunately. <Yeah. laughs> Uh, and like this one got a little existential, which I don't think is going in the right direction. Okay. Unfortunately, but I did make it runner up number five. So, who knows? Number five. Yeah. Right. I think there's like, it could be something. Like I look at it and like it could be something. We all respond yeah. to something about it. but yeah. it's, Is it coming together the right way? Yeah. Yeah. Jay. Same note as I, as I've always had. Um, it's beautiful. I want it to work. But in every single challenge, this is a puppy knight that fights things, and that's it. So this sort of like um, I think I was saying about Lumberjack, I'm just not sure what it is beyond the initial basic concept. Mm -hmm. Other than a puppy knight, what is he? What is he like? What does he do? The, I haven't seen any glimpse of that. Right. I would love to because it's gorgeous. Yeah. So it's a no one to know. No one to know? Uh, I also had it as runner up number five. Okay. Um, and I think it's sort of a bit of, you know, a lot of style, but not a lot of substance. So you kind of need to, we need to know <coughs> a little bit more about what the character does. I mean, I do love the whole video game aesthetic that it's got going on. Mm -hmm. I think that's a really mm -hmm. neat concept to make a show that kind of looks like a video game in some and ways. And they do it well. And they do it yeah. very yeah. well. For sure. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's why it's a runner up, because I, you know, would be interested to see more. And I think that it could fit into the demographic quite well. But uh, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't in my top pick or, or runner-up. I just feel like uh, I didn't get it, and the only thing I responded to was the video game aesthetic to the eight-bit stuff, and then, I, but, but that didn't connect to me. The character I didn't get. I didn't get how that even made sense in this world. So, I just didn't get it. 
Okay. Okay. Christopher? I, unfortunately, I just, you know, I want this to work, and it's just not working. And so I don't, I can't quite put my finger on it. Maybe Jay said it best, but I, I just, it's a no and a no for me because of that. I just, in several different iterations, it just hasn't been able to find its legs in that way. And it's just one of those ones that I really want it to, because yeah. um, of, of the world and everything. But I have to let it go. Okay. Okay. It, Let might me be, ask it might be something to pitch to a video game company. Like it might just be a video game. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. maybe because it it's relies on lying so heavy, heavily. Yeah, on the and it language, kind of fits that like kind of like Mario style, cute but badass yeah. video game style. Yeah. Right, so good. let me yeah. ask you guys a question as as broadcasters, that kind of thing. when you if you see something like this, um, is there an opportunity for something like this? If they've got something that people are clearly re responding to so well visually, and there's a hook in there that they're responding to visually, is there an opportunity for this creator? Would you be looking? Would you look at something like this and say, hey? Let's take this on, but let's bring you a writer. And like, would you, as broadcasters, develop it? Because there's something, and I'm not saying to say this, but something along these lines where clearly the response is there to the visuals. Clearly the response is there to some aspect of the premise. Would you, as broadcasters, ever put something like this into development and then work with that creator to take it to that place? I personally wouldn't on something like this, only because I don't see the, the nugget of the, what the concept story engine, what's driving this character. So there's nothing that I feel like I can latch on to and help them build on. So it's still not enough. It's still not enough yeah. for me. Like I just, there's not enough to grab on to and want to help build, in my opinion. Right. Um, but it's subjective. <laughs> so course, I would say find that person. Whereas like something like Harry and Shelley, you go, yeah, no, there's something there that you can get behind and go, I know what, what could help mm -hmm. them. Yeah. So not this. I agree completely. Yeah. Okay. 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 As a creator and, and a creative executive, um, I like to look enough that I could see myself wanting to try to work with a creator like this. Yeah. Um, but that would have to happen before you were pitching it. Yeah. Because there's nothing there. Yeah. 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 So someone like this, they need to find someone at that level to help develop it before it comes to someone like you guys. Yeah. 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 Okay. Because otherwise, would be able pitch? to. Uh, at this at this point, I wouldn't be able to take this into development. It would have to. They would. I would. You know, if it was pitched to me, I would give notes back, yeah. and then mm -hmm. hopefully they would go back and redo it and come back with something yeah. with an engine that really works and a humor. If you add humor into this as an adventure, that could be really fun. Right. Um, but what is the world and the structure right. of it? Because that is like what we try to do here, and it's 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 trying to bring it to a point where we're putting it through some development paces initially so that you guys could look at something and say, I would take a risk. Like, it's not there yet. It needs to go into development. Yeah. But we want to have creations that come along that you would be prepared to take a risk on to move it to that next place. Like, it's, it's, we want something at the other end that would be developable. Um, mm -hmm. And that we hope that these creators, along with what we're the coaching we're trying to give in these bursts that we do give it, yeah. uh, are able to learn from that to get it to that place where it could be a risk you'd be prepared to take. Um, and some of them are getting there. They're not like they're, mm -hmm. we're not we're not fooling ourselves. They're not finished products that we're pitching to you to say production uh, yes to production. Yeah. Um, but they're, they're, we are able to say these are risk worthy. These are developable. Yeah. Okay. So we're, I'm going to do some math. Okay. I'm going to do it in the room. I'm going to go over here and just confirm some numbers. So our finals this year are three plus one are Pepper and Monterey, Harry and Shelley, Hazan and Frico. <laughs> 